Thank you for joining me on Bay Area Barfly. I'm your host, Tom Jones. Today we're going to be mixing up the Dirty Martini. But before we do, I'd like to give you a brief history on its uh, origin. There's much debate, of course, uh, where the Martini was started. In 1863, an Italian vermouth maker marketed a product under the name Martini, which he offered to the public, uh, could be the uh, start of the now famous drink. During this time in San Francisco, a hotel called the Occidental provided a drink called the Martinez, which patrons enjoyed before venturing across the bay to the town of Martinez. Another story points to a bartender at the Knickerbocker Hotel in New York City in 1911, who concocted the first dry martini. He used equal amounts of gin and vermouth to arrive with a drink that was dry and rather appealing to his clients. Later during the 1920s and Prohibition, with a large supply of gin, the drinks became very popular. The 1930s and 40s continued its popularity until it died down in replacement of more popular drinks. Of course, many people know the 007 James Bond often requested a dirty martini shaken and not stirred. Over the years, bars have offered apple martini, chocolate martini, and a whole lot of other teenies. Today, we will feature the vodka dirty martini uh, paired with cheese, meat, and crackers. All right, as promised, I have a guest on my show. He should be honored. He is the first guest in this Number fantastic one. show. Number one. The one, the only, needs no introduction. The man, the myth, the legend, Michael the Mike Vargas. I'm here. Give him a hand, give him a hand, everybody. I'm on the show. Yeah. We're doing this live. Yes, we are. Okay, so what we're doing is we're doing a martini. Now, I know you're a younger guy. How old are you? I'm 30. Okay, you're 30. So I figure, okay, he's been drinking legally yeah, legal. for about, uh, what, uh, maybe, what, nine years or so? About nine years. Okay, so about see, he, he's, he, he's, he's been around the block, so uh, we can appreciate that. So uh, I figure, okay, he has nine years of experience, so I wanted to introduce him because the, the, the kids, the, the, youths, younger crowd in here. the youths of today, they just don't appreciate the finer things in life, like martinis. <laughs> Um, so uh, that's why we're gonna make a dirty martini. You know what? We're doing it dirty on the show, okay? This is our dirty. first dirt. Uh -oh. And uh, so I don't know. Have you ever tried to? I know this is my first time having a dirty martini. Okay, so that's good. I might want to make it too dirty. Yes. No. No. And maybe it'll uh, be a virgin martini. Yes. Yes. On my end. Yes. There we go. Um. One more thing. That's okay. Uh oh. You can edit that. I'll edit that out. <laughs> the damn ice. Oh, the eyes! You forgot the eyes. I might have to take over the show, ladies and gentlemen, when he steps out. We got to rock. That's gonna be our vodka base. We got the martini, Rossi, extra dry. And what else we got here? The Bevmo Dirty Martini Olive Juice. So that's the dirty topping. That's what makes it dirty, guys. That's a cool part. This is the blooper reel. You're not supposed to really hear that. Okay, well, if it looks like uh, we had a little uh, malfunction, yeah, a little side steps or whatever, um, that's the magic of uh, being able to edit things out. But in any case, you know. You've already heard Mike, uh, we're going we're to do this yeah. up. Uh, so, so uh, I don't know if you are if you remember James Bond, because James Bond nowadays, I don't know if they portray him, but you know, back in the uh, I don't remember the old James Bond, stuff, the newer James Bond. Okay. Oh, the newer yeah. James Bond? 007. Now, yeah, now does, does he still request a vodka martini shaken and not stirred? No, I'm not sure. I'd okay, I so, check that. So kind of that's the thing. So a lot of martinis are made from uh, gin and vermouth. In this case, I. I tried it gin before, and I'm not a big gin fan, so uh, that's why I like uh, vodka. So because of the fact that it uh, needs to be smooth, because the majority of the uh, recipe calls for a, a large amount of vodka, I wanted to make sure I got something smooth. So we're going to do it with, with uh, Ciroc. Um, there's a number of different other ones, but uh, I found that uh, this one is uh, pretty damn good. So uh, we're going to do... Um, 
just your basic Syrah, right? Yeah. No flavor here? Uh, nope. Nope. Right. No flavor. And then uh, to uh, uh, smooth it out a bit and to get it a little bit of dryness, uh, we're doing uh, the vermouth. And then we're also going to, uh, because it's dirty, we're going to do some um, martini juice or some olive juice, I should say. That's the dirty juice. Though. Yeah, that's the dirty juice. And normally what I would do is before I would just use the juice out of here, but then this only makes probably like two or three drinks. So uh, I always like the, the jalapeno ones. Um, you can also get the... Uh, you can also get the ones that are stuck with cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or stuck with garlic. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are good. Those are good as well. So, okay, let's go ahead and get this going. Now, this is a shaker, as you know. And for some reason, I shake. There you go. Okay. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some ice going. Yeah. There yeah. Just as James Bond says, shake and not stir. Shake and not stir. Uh, because it basically infuses a lot of the, the different uh, flavors together, okay. and it kind of gives it more of a consistency. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, uh, two um, ounces. You know what? Before we do this, I say you make it extra dirty and go for four ounces. Huh? Oh yeah, a little extra dirty, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. He's a dirty guy. That's okay. It's all good. Um, let me go ahead and what I always like to do is I actually like to do you get the olive first. first. Alright. Just because. Why? Because that's how I do it. There you go. I want to taste it, make sure it's fresh. Oh yeah, those are fresh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, nah, you know what, we'll, we'll, once we get stuck yeah. in here, it'll, uh, it'll be <laughs> fresh. Yeah, the alcohol. It'll be fresh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kill any diseases or any uh, unfreshness. Okay, so I'll put that down here. Alright. So two ounces of that. Yep. Two ounces of this bad boy. There we go. So what I'll do is, since we're making two together, I'll double everything up. So I'm doing four ounces. That's for two drinks. In the past, they actually had uh, more of an even um, uh, parts for both uh, the vermouth, but in latter years, they started going more with the good stuff and less with the vermouth. Uh, less with the vermouth, less vermouth. Less vermouth. I like that one. Okay, so that's, uh, so normally for one drink, it'd be one ounce in this case because we're doing two drinks. Two ounces. Yeah. And then he calls for a little... Uh, like dirtiness, so a little dirtiness. yeah, a little dirtiness. So what I'm going to do is uh, usually do a half ounce of this for one drink. We're going to actually do uh, a full ounce. Yeah. More dirty than that. No, uh, a, a full. We're going to do two ounces. Oh wow. Okay. So a little extra dirty. dirty. A little extra dirty. Today's a dirty day. <laughs> yeah, we're going to clean up after this. <laughs> All right, so then you just do your shake. Shake it. There you go, get it shaken. Now I'm not going to do that whole fancy thing where I Wait, throw it up over my head, but if I do, tricks. it's probably going to open up on me, airborne, oh. and then we're going to totally have it take. Early, I don't think uh. it would go. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I get exactly. Now, you know what I like about these? You see that, that nice frost? Yeah, can you actually feel that? Let me feel all that. That's uh. like a CO2 cartridge. Yeah, exactly. yeah, there you go. So. Alrighty! Alright. Sounds like a break in. Yeah, it does. Uh. Look at that. Look at that stuff. This was just, this, this could bring us back to a time in the world was just a little more elegant. There you go. Alright! Alright. Cheers. Cheers! First on the show. Here yep. we go. So, I'm a vodka guy. So for me, this is like, wow, okay, cool. Very smooth. It's smooth. You gotta use the good vodka. If you don't, yeah. it'll give you that after. Yeah, don't use the one in the plastic jug. <laughs> no. So what do you think? It's good. It's good, huh? Yeah, it's, it's good. It's, uh, 
It's something you don't shut down. Yeah. You just have it here and stuff. Not and, a margarita. Uh, no, it's not a margarita. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm also going to do, like I do on the show, we're going to also, um, we need something to pair this with, some kind of an appetizer. Yeah. So when we come back. It goes good with this. Yes. Well, when we come back, you'll see. some of the details. Yes. Stay so, tuned. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right. Cheers. Welcome back. We're back. We're back. We got everything. Uh, Looks like it was just snappy. Yeah, just like that. There. Just like that. That's, like that's, that's the uh, the beauty of TV. There you go. So uh, what we got here is uh, we wanted kind of like an appetizer, something to drink these uh, dirty martinis with. Uh, so what I was able to come up with is um, uh, brie. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little uh, piece off for Michael here and. Uh, Cut a little bit off for myself. It's more than a little there, but all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Huh? So uh, I'm going to do, do brie, and then we're also going to do. Uh, I kind of cheated a little bit. Normally I do salami, but I thought these little sausage things uh, that, that uh, I have uh, that I was able to find. It actually comes uh, packaged with the uh, string cheese. So what I'll do is I'll have Michael, if you don't mind, uh, opening it up. I'm gonna get something that to, cut these things. to give just a little bit. To give just a little bit of flavor to the brie. Oh, that's a special. Yes. Special, special hidden spice. Special concoction. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, um, something like a, a Thai uh, sweet and sour, or sweet, sweet and sour, or, or uh, sweet and spicy. So this right here is sweet, sweet chili sauce. So what's kind of nice about this is you can actually just throw. Just throw the brie. Yeah, the brie. Throw it on the brie. You throw it on the brie, and then uh, it kind of gives it a little, uh, a little pizzazz. And then. Uh, I just picked uh, wheat thins. Wheat thins. Oh, yeah, a magician over here. See that? It was gone. Jeez, I didn't know. More mess. What happened? Look, what is it doing on the ceiling over there? Yeah, it's wow. gone. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you could use a number of different crackers. Uh, when I was in the store, I said, well, you know what? You can't go wrong with, with wheat thins. Yeah, wheat thins are good. You know, it makes you feel healthy. Yeah, um, just thin. Yeah, just thin. It and makes you feel thin and healthy. Little, little bloated. Exactly. Especially with all of this uh, cheese. But you know what? We don't care. You only live once, right? There you go. Okay, so I got this. Um, and then, you know what? Um, I'm going to try kind of something. <laughs> what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to get my cell phone out. Alright. And uh, this is just trial and error. Um, I'm going to post this. Instagram. Instagram. Food. And uh, They call it food porn on there. Hashtag. <laughs> There you go. I like that. I knew it was a good idea having a younger crowd. Let's see. Um, there you go. Might as well do a selfie. Might as well do a selfie. First time show, right? There we go. Selfie Nation. Be a classic, okay. That's a good hand. That's it. <laughs> be on the lookout for our hashtags. Um, so, what we also do with this is uh, what I'm going to do is you want to cut cut these in kind of like halves, like this. And I'll show you why. Can I do that? Well, these are the toppings for the crackers. What's that? Put them on top of the crackers? How, how are we doing this? Um, well, I'll give you a toothpick. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so you just get a toothpick. And then normally, you know, you could kind of do something like this. Oh, I'll kind of make a little, uh, yeah. mini shish kebab type deal. Yeah, just kind of like that. And just kind of either serve it like that. Um, and then this, of course, you actually kind of dip it into the brie. Yeah, yeah. So you 
you just kind of put that put on. So this is just, hey, you know what? However you want to do it. But uh, there's a little idea. It actually goes well with this. Yeah, I'm having a malfunction. It's okay. Luckily, we're not on live. That's good. Not bad, huh? That's not bad. You water it down with some of this thing right here. Yes. So, um, please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel at uh, BayAreaBarfly.tv. TV. And uh, appreciate you. you uh, yeah. I appreciate First you time, being it here. Good. It was great. Um, Might see you again. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Um, we're gonna actually have some more themes coming up within the next coming weeks. So I want to thank you for joining us. Drink Cheers. responsibly. Yeah, Cheers. Try. All right. Cheers. Have a good one. Have a good one.